<laughs> yeah, I shall go there if you want. I've had dreams that weren't just dreams. Am I crazy? How did Lana Wachowski prepare you for this return to the Matrix? Tenderly. <laughs> mm. Sensitively. Yeah. And with a vision. Uh, what does that mean? Conversations, table reads. Creating uh, a, space. a space for us to train and surrounding us with an amazing team to support us through that training. Time to fly. I think she gave us a script and said, go, have fun. She didn't. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Lana, I mean, if you've ever read an interview with her and people ask, mm -hmm. like, what's the Matrix mean? She always says, I never want to tell you. I want you to figure it out yourself. And I think that's kind of her how she approached us, certainly in my case. Like, I tried to one time have a chat with her about bugs and she shut that down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, she'll go there if you want. If you want the truth, Neo, yeah, you're going to have to fly me. I mean, she shares her kind of big picture of the importance of art to humanity, to humans, to uh, the practice of art. But then I think she really kind of speaks to us individually, like what are the questions and how do you want to work? And, that. She just wants you to, to not overly think and o not overly rehearse and not overly plan and then get there on the day and then be able to just change depending on how she's directing you. Lana did as much as she could and then it was our job to take the baton and to do our research and our character work and get ourselves into shape and give our crack at it. But she was always there to have sort of a soft, steady hand uh, in like guiding us in the right direction. You don't know me. No? The idea that this could potentially be a simulation, that was both scary and I really leaned into that idea while we were filming because first the world was very strange. It's still strange, but it's funny how quickly we get used to the strangeness of it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I was you know, in Berlin, I'm bald, I'm working on the Matrix. It was very, very bizarre. So sometimes the best thing for me was to explore the idea that I'm in an alternate reality, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's yes. the biggest mind freak and obviously it's still weighing on me right now. <laughs> All the explanation you need. I remember us showing up in the middle of COVID to Berlin and you and I doing like high kicks down the floor uh -huh. at fight training and thinking like, what are we doing? <laughs> Where are we? And what is happening? <laughs>